Starting out here at Genbumon, we're right off of Osanbashidori in real life Yokohama. This is considered the north gate with Choyomon, we'll see that one later being the east gate. You have Suzakumon to the south, that's right over near the entryway into Motomachi, and then you have Enpeimon, which is the west gate entrance right near Ishikawa Chil Station off the Negishi line. We'll be seeing that line again pretty soon once we go look at the Kanai Station area. Chinatown as it exists these days dates back to around 1955 with the dedication of the Zenrinmon Gate that we'll see here in a few minutes. But the history of the area goes back to around 1859 and going into the 1860s as more and more Chinese immigrants started coming into Japan after it had opened back up to foreigners and as folks started settling within the general area. Compared to in-game, real life Chinatown is uh, considerably bigger. It's about two thirds of the Yamashita Cho area, which goes from the Negishi line from Ishikawa Cho Station, north past Chinatown into Yamashita Park and then some of the pier areas that are north of that. As you might already be able to tell, the area to our left is considerably different. There's no empty square for people to meet up at, but there is a rather large building in its place. And some of the stuff around here, it's, it's not an exact match. Nothing here I really would consider an exact match. There's a lot of stuff that looks very similar, but you're gonna get a lot of the same style and feeling everywhere. We'll get a quick pan around here you can see some of some of the decorations on the buildings are similar very colorful i feel like it's a little bit more colorful in real life to be honest there's another gate in front of us that leads into the center street which we we won't be walking down it in, in this direction but we will be taking a walk down it in a little while we'll walk across the street here and look back over this is a large police station where that gathering square would be right in front of the restroom that leads to the underground casino you can also see one of the lantern festival decorations that are right there and we'll pan around a little bit more here in a second to see some of the aesthetic similarities that you can tell between in-game and the real life area but with that police station being there and that also being a much bigger section to look at there's you can't really compare them can you it's a parking lot maybe <laughs> where you would have people meeting up at but it's its purpose between in-game and real life is quite different. We'll cut ahead a little bit here since there isn't much to look at. There's the, the bathroom again. Can't show you that, sorry. Obviously it's illegal, but once we get back into the in-game footage, you'll see the outside uh, looks quite similar. I think I used that restroom, I don't quite remember. Nothing really special to talk about. It's a, it's a restroom. What, what are you going to say about it? We'll keep heading up to what would in-game be kind of the northern boundary street. Ahead of us is a rather large wedding hall. There's a couple of those throughout the entire Chinatown area, mostly kind of on the outskirts. In-game, that's where Paradise VR is at. The facsimile building to the industry and trade hall but that's a few streets up from here so everything kind of on what this northern boundary street would be in in-game chinatown is going to be quite different we're going to keep the game footage there to see where we're at more or less as we go through here we're going to jump ahead a bit as well because it's a kind of a long street it's a supermarket dead ahead of us a lot of these there's a lot of hostels, there's some businesses. Some of these, if they're big enough, they'll extend from the, the center street cutting through Chinatown, and you'll see the back side of it, but you'd have to be like one or one street over from there. But some of these are gonna be apartments, they're going to be smaller businesses, stuff like that. Did not run into any Mahjong halls. I I feel like there would be some there. Whether or not you'd be able to get in there and easily play a game, that's a that's a separate question entirely, and I did not run into anybody making illicit concoctions. Then knowing what would go into those in-game, uh, I don't know if I would trust it. One thing on this street that does have kind of an in-game equivalent would be the southeast corner of the map is the giant parking garage we're going to see here in just a moment. It's a probably the biggest one I would say in the entire area, there are multiple parking lots and smaller parking garages attached to different buildings. This is gonna be the biggest one. Oh, hi, Family Mart. 
Good to see you. They were running the sheet tunnel line of dishes at that time. Those were fun. A very large, very decorative parking lot. Big enough to hold just about everybody that might come into the area, but if you're if you're smart, you'll take the train and not have to worry about traffic or anything else going in through here. We'll head up a little bit more, and we're actually going to head down a side street that doesn't really have an in-game equivalent. We're going to have no, no actual footage from there to show in the meantime other than just a little bit when we look at the restaurant here. This spot has a couple of different locations. This is just one of them, and it looks similar enough I figured I'd point it out. Heading down this street is a little bit something extra to take a look at. I feel like it's maybe more of a, an equivalent to the north boundary street of in-game Chinatown. But there's at least a, one thing in here that I wanted to point out that I feel like would be that would be the basis for Heian Tower, and that's coming up a little bit ahead of us. You can already see it off to the right-hand side here. We're going through Chinatown itself. I'll go on a, a little bit about that in a minute. Filming here, it was easy to see everything, but it was hard to really go in anywhere as well as make a lot of direct comparisons because aesthetically, everything's in place, but as far as making direct comparisons for, for much, that was a little bit harder to do. So the big building here, Manshinro Tenshin Pole, this is one of the two buildings that I feel is the basis for Heian Tower. Probably the, the main basis for it in terms of how it looks. There's no elevator shaft in the center of the building, but if you can see the, the windows on the sides and some of the decorations, it's really, really close. Heian Tower is probably bigger overall, but, but this is certainly not a small building and clearly can handle very large groups of people. Didn't get the chance to dine there. Didn't really get to hit up a lot of the restaurants, unfortunately. Didn't know which ones would be good. I had somebody to ask, but I never quizzed them about it. Really only showing this because you can kind of see the rear side of this building in-game. This is the regular Manchin Roll building. We'll see the front side of that when we go down the center street. But I figured it'd be worth taking a look at. But it's one of the few buildings from that that is actually long enough that it will reach a completely different street. Because everything else is just clusters of buildings. There's the police station again, and we'll fade back out, and we'll reappear back over on that northern street that we were walking on. Something was there originally. Google Maps shows it. I don't think it was anything necessarily important, and there's always stuff being torn down and rebuilt. Anywhere you go in Japan, you're going to see something like that. We'll see a lot of that later on, too. Now, this is something that's on the southern boundary of the in-game Chinatown, the Peony Hotel. This is over in this area, Rose Hotel, Yokohama. There's no elephants on the main entrance there, but otherwise, take a take a look at it. Some of the lighting fixtures are maybe a little bit lower, placed differently, but color scheme, that tower there, the way those terraces look, it's it's remarkable how well they managed to pull that off without probably getting sued for being way too close. We're starting to get closer to Choyomon Gate, and where the Gigo is, we'll see that a little bit later, but we're gonna take a quick jump here and then start making our way down the center street. I keep calling it the center street. It's just the easier thing to say. The central street is Chukagai Odori or Chinatown Big Street, Great Street, Avenue. Start making our way down here. You might already be able to see what's marked as an information, small information building or information kiosk is a Kolban, it's a police box, attached to the main police station down the road here, both with very decorative carvings up on the top. I keep harping on about aesthetics, but when exploring this area, that's the most you really have to work with. You're gonna see a lot of stuff that looks very similar to what you would have seen in game. Certainly if you spent a lot of hours playing through Like a Dragon 7 or Lost Judgment, you'll have seen a lot of this many, many times, but you're not going to find a lot of businesses in real life ever really showing up. So for the most part, the best I can offer you is just taking in the sites and making your own comparisons along the way and seeing if you notice anything. It's like, oh, hey, they kind of captured this or anything of that nature. 
It doesn't look all that busy right now. I chose to shoot this actually a little bit more of a story. I had shot through Chinatown once on a weekend. I think it was the first weekend I was in Japan, so it would have been around the third or the fourth. And Chinatown on the weekends is exceptionally busy to the point where if you're going along Chukagai Odori right here, you are not going to move around very fast. It's it's wall to wall people. Every business is packed. You're having lines out the door. It's not the easiest place to explore. With that in mind, I decided, OK, I have to come back on a weekday probably around 9 a.m., between 9 and 10 a.m., when most things haven't quite opened yet. You're going to deal with a lot of cars parked along here, people doing deliveries. You're going to have some folks walking through here either already as tourists or they're going somewhere else. But that's the easiest way to be able to take a look around and not have to worry about the crowds so much. But by the time everything opens at 10 o'clock, oh, no, it, it gets much, much busier, and you're going to have to deal with that no matter what. On the plus side, everything closes at around... 9 9 30 p.m and at that point you have the place to yourself again unless of course you're looking for a late night meal or anything like that some restaurants on the side streets here you'll be able to go into they'll be open later but everything along chukagai odori here that's pretty much done they'll have closed up shop and it'll be like a ghost town speaking of which i do have a separate video down in the description that will show some of the chinatown area some of the same stuff here on the same path at nighttime so if you want to take a look at that please do so that's about the only amount of nighttime shooting that i got finished up while i was there by the time i got done with most days i was filming eight to ten hours wherever i might have gone i was usually too tired to go back out and do anything else the nighttime chinatown footage starts about where we began here at chukagai oldori it'll head down the street make a left at the gate where the police station is head over towards yamashicho koen we'll see that in a few minutes and end up in front of Yokohama Daisekai. It's pretty neat to see everything still lit up at night, and since the lanterns were all still above the main street, it makes it look even cooler. Off to the right-hand side here, this is the front side of Manchinro. It's one element of this street in-game that you can't mistake it for anything else. You know exactly what they were trying to evoke when they made this building in-game. Also, all the lanterns here, too. That's stuff you see in-game all the time. In real life, since it was a lantern festival, a lot of that stuff was still hanging up above the street, but by the time Chinese New Year ended, all of it was gone, unfortunately. Taking a look at the police station again, and we'll make a left-hand turn. This would be heading towards the southern boundary street. You can see PNE Hotel over there. At this point, we're kind of in no man's land as far as comparisons go. Nothing around here looks really the same. We'll jump ahead a little bit in the in real life footage. We'll run into another gate that doesn't exist in game and leads along the street here. This is not the actual southern boundary for Chinatown, that's a few streets down, as I mentioned, going towards the Negishi Line train tracks and Ishikawa Chill Station. But as far as what we're covering here and keeping it roughly to what's seen in game, this is what I would consider it. To our left here in real life, that's a international school, if I remember correctly. You see a very ornate building just past that. The first night I was in the country, that was January 31st. This was a, a street I walked along with my friend who lives pretty close to Chinatown. Taking a look at some of that. It's a, it's, it's a heck of a thing to see when you're really jet lagged. You might already notice on the light poles here, we'll take a quick look at the signage. The text on it is just the name of the street, but I thought it was kind of neat how ornate the signage looked. You get some of the like that ribbon design that's off to the side, but as far as the rest of the signage, none of that really appears in game for the most part that I can remember. Now, this is something that is not in game. The translation for it marks it as a mausoleum. I would think of it more as a temple, but don't quote me on that. My my knowledge of 
religions is quite poor, so <laughs> you'll have to correct me down below in the comments. I would, I would like somebody to actually do that. That way I know for the future what the difference might be. In game, you can see where Heian Tower is. There's kind of something very similar that we just passed on the right there, but certainly not big enough. The other building I was mentioning is at the very end of the street. We'll get to there pretty soon. But now it's just us taking a stroll along the area, soaking in the sights. It is, for being such a touristy area, it is, unless you can get easily overloaded by a lot of lights and sounds, if you're not, then it's visually going to always be very interesting to you. Now to the right here in game, this is marked as Chukagai Kolen, or Chinatown Park. We'll take a step here in a moment across the street. And take a look at the very similar looking like marble signage that's in, in front of the parks. This is Yamashita Chill Park. Also flanked on either side of the entrance here by some some lions. They look like Shisa, but I, Shisa's more of an Okinawan thing, I believe. The pavilion off to there, you can see the pavilion in the, the center of the, the park here in-game. We'll take a look at these lanterns and these structures in the nighttime video a little bit better. Unfortunately, I didn't get a good look at them here in real life. But this pavilion's a little bit off-center and facing in a different direction. And if you go back over here, there's actually not a, it's not a big park, but it's a big enough park for kids and families to come hang out in. I believe there's some apartment buildings and other shops that are beyond that as you go further south into Chinatown. Heading back out to the street here, we'll make a right. And dead ahead of us, another gate, as well as... Yokohama Daisekai. We'll see the name a little bit later as we get closer. That's the other building I was mentioning. In-game, that's where the parking lot would be, but Yokohama Daisekai here. It's a big building with multiple shops and restaurants, a couple of small museums, but in terms of size and scale, that's what I would think of when I think Heian Tower. Though, as mentioned earlier with Manchinro Tenshin Pole, as far as the way the building looks, that's where the basis is in terms of scale. This certainly would hit the mark, but that's mostly conjecture on my part, so I am probably wrong, and Manchin Tension Pole is the main basis for Heian Tower. Some of this is the footage I shot the first time around through Chinatown, and you can see how much busier it has gotten. This isn't even as busy as it can get. And looking down this way, we'll see another mausoleum slash temple here, which I originally thought was Yamashita Cho Koen, aka Chukagai Koen, and I was wrong, quite wrong. Thankfully, as I continued to do research, I found that area and went, oh, hey, yeah, there is something that is a lot more similar to what we see in game. You'll get a lot of vehicles on here, but people will be walking in the streets because the sidewalks get so busy around here sometimes. You have no, no choice but to kind of cut back and forth and dodge around people and walking around. That's why I ended up reshooting everything on a less busy day because you end up going so much slower and that was a fear of mine was taking way too long to try to cover anything. I'll jump ahead back there and then a little bit up here as we reach back over to Chukagai Odori and as we start to finish things up. Off to the right there is the Gigo. Used to be a Sega branded building but aesthetically quite similar they both actually have parking garages built into them which is quite neat it's a nice touch unfortunately not a place really worth taking a look at since in, in the interior they're not the same at all and most game centers unfortunately are crane games and that's about it and if you head directly up the street past the gate past the crosswalk go about two streets up you'll find yourself back at Yamashita Park I want to thank you all for joining me today as we took a look around Chinatown. Hope you had some fun. If you have any comments, if I missed anything, if there's any mistakes along the way, please leave a comment down below. I'd appreciate hearing from you. But until next time, take it easy, and we'll see you again real soon as we continue to explore around Yokohama.
Join us next time for part three, where we'll take a look in and around the Kanai Station area. <laughs>